Hello everyone, in this video I, I will I will walk you step by step through the process of turning a Python Flash application that uses Celery, Redis, and Amazon RDS uh, database um, and a Flash web server into a Dockerized application. We will create new containers for the uh, for the service that we we will be using in this app the R engine, and we will use Unicorn, Redis, and Celery as I said. Um, note, however, that our model, our database, will remain in the Amazon RDS cloud. So, <coughs> let me present you with the application. Let me let me very quickly start our, the application here, the server. This is, a, as I said, this is a, a Python Flask application. As a, you know, Flask comes with a with a web server. Now we can use that. This is the one what we are using right now. Uh, the application also uses Celery, and we have multiple tasks here: asynchronic tasks and scheduled tasks that I'm going to start right now. Um, I should have started the Redis first. So let me see if the Okay, here you go. So Redis is working perfectly now. <coughs> and let's go back to the application. So we'll get requests to see if our backend is working properly. Um, this uh, simple request uh, will just return a 32 random string. Um, let me, so it is just a get request to this uh, endpoint. Let me send the request and this is every time every time that I send the request I get a different response so it means that that our server is, is working properly right let's go back um, yeah we have the four requests here okay and those were our four responses so now let me try to 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 call and I think um, and the user will put uh, his email message and name uh, this is the email that, that I'm going to, to send right now. Let's see, sending the email. Okay, it said the email was sent correctly. Let's see. Okay, we have a 201. We have the request here. Um, we should have some logs here. Ask for a logo. Okay. I know that... Um, that uh, I have some IDs here already that are stored in our database. So let me try with the logo, with the request uh, to this endpoint in in point in for the ID number 22, for example. Let's see if I get something. Okay, here you go. Let's see the backend. Everything is working properly, right? 